guys welcome back to all's illuminate 11 on this monday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here so earlier i did a video that was about the full moon in pisces and which is coming in either today or tomorrow 20th or 21st of september depending on where you are in the world and at the start of the video, I said that the full moon was coming in today in the UK. However, it's actually coming in tomorrow. And um, and I just wanted to point that out because for anyone who's in the UK, it is actually coming in tomorrow. And, um, and it was sort of after I'd started uploading the video and I was like 30 minutes or so after I started uploading, I got this sort of message from my intuition to sort of just check the timing. And I realized that it's actually tomorrow tomorrow and um but the message that i got was that i was meant to do this video today um because where the full moon sort of comes in today if i had waited to do it tomorrow you know the message that was coming through is meant to be heard by anyone who is where the full moon comes in today actually today so the message applies to today and tomorrow and um however it, you know it was just the part where i said it's coming in today in the uk i did put a little note as well and i pinned a note about that in the comments before it even finished uploading um so you know i just wanted to point that out but there were powerful messages that were coming through in relation to this full moon you know about the divine feminine about surrender and you know working through your fear as well you know really do check that out and some of the things that you can do for yourself you know to work on releasing especially today if the full moon comes in today for you or if you do your sort of time of releasing taking some time to yourself today or if you do it tomorrow so you know if the message was meant to come through so that um, people can have the chance to work on the messages that come through today or tomorrow and also, you know, the angels are also saying we are or no matter where you are in the world right now, we are already we are all already in the power of this full moon. You know, we are all, you know, whether it comes in the actual timing of the full moon coming in is today or tomorrow, wherever you are, we are all already in this energy. So that message really applies. And, you know, there were some powerful messages about what's going on with your divine masculine as well in relation to this full moon. So do check that out if you haven't seen it and what we are going to do for this video this morning i woke up like i think between three and four and i got quite a number of messages my ear was ringing quite a number of messages uh, were coming through and one of them was a question and the question I, I did actually turn my lamp on and i just scribbled it was what are the divine masculines going through so you know this is a message this was a question that i needed to answer and if you do watch that video as well you will see what they're sort of going through and working through as well with the power of this full moon but this is just in general to see what the divine masculines are going through so i'm going to bring in three decks as well to see what questions are coming through uh to see what what the divine masculines are going through so we're starting with the gilded tarot so thank you angels what what are the divine masculines going through what are the divine masculines going through thank you angels what are the divine masculines going through is there anything else for the divine masculines from this deck what are they going through anything else thank you angels what else are the divine masculines going through i think that's that from this deck yeah okay and we're also going to bring in the sacred destiny oracle so thank you angels what are the divine masculines going through what are the divine masculines going through anything else from this deck okay and we're also going to bring in the almost tarot so thank you angels what are the divine masculines going through what are the divine masculines going through thank you angels what are the divine masculines going through what are the divine masculines going through from this deck thank you angels what are the divine masculines going through okay is there anything else coming through from this deck what else are the divine masculines going through let's see there's anything else coming through from this one thank you angels okay right so i think that's quite a number of dead cards there so let's see what's happening from um so this is from the 
uh, from this uh, from the Gilded Tower first. So the first card that came out is the King of Cups. And this is about that love. You know, what are they going through? They are holding that cup of love for their Divine Feminine. They have that love for you, their Divine Feminine. You know, they may not be coming forward to tell you how they feel because that's what the King of Cups sort of does. Sometimes they go and hide away, but they have all that love. You know, they are sort of in their emotion. They think about that love that they have for you and they're holding that cup of love for you. And then the next card that came out as well for the Divine Masculines is the death card and the death card really is about rebirth so this is about the dying of the old and you know and moving into the new so rebirth they are going through this time of rebirth the death of their old life as they move into their new life so you know they are going through this time of sort of releasing you know that's what the death of the old is all about it's like shedding the skin of the old life so that they can be able to move into their new life so they're going through a time of rebirth you know this is what is happening as they go through their awakening they're going through a rebirth sort of you know really starting to see the world from a different perspective sort of and, and you know going through this time of rebirth so that is what is is going on with the divine masculines and then there may also be some conflict happening with the divine masculines as well you know this may be conflict in their own mind you know things that you know the just that sort of fear coming up you know conflict about not knowing what to do as well within themselves you know they have this love for their divine feminine they want to move forward towards their divine feminine but then the fear comes in you know they start wondering what will happen if they come forward whether their divine feminine will reject them you know all these things sort of coming in so there's there is some conflict that is going on in the minds of the divine masculine uh, masculines as well they can also be having conflict in their outside world you know they can be in a relationship where you know they are not happy there and there is conflict in that relationship or you know they can be in a workplace where there is conflict they can be causing conflict with other people around them you know because they're just not in a place where they are happy because they know where they would like to be they would, would like to be with their divine feminine you know where they hold this cup of love so there is some conflict that is happening in their lives it can be in their outside 3d world but it can also just be in their mind you know conflict within as they their higher self is fight sort of in conflict with you know the ego sort of coming in trying to giving causing them to have all these fears as well so they are there is conflict happening with the divine masculines and then the next card that came out is the queen of swords and the queen of swords really is about sort of being more in 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 the head you know they are sort of in their head quite a lot and you know trying to be so practical and think about things too much you know sort of being in their head too much and they may seem quite cold as well in their sort of approach you know if they're not speaking to you they're divine feminine you know that is because they may come across as being quite cold and and you know being so much more in their head rather than being more in their emotion and showing you the emotion of exactly how they feel so they may be coming across as being quite cold as well towards you their divine feminine or it could be towards other people in their life because you know they have all this stuff sort of going on in their mind and you know and they just would really prefer to be with their divine feminine where you know they can ex be with you know and tell you exactly how they feel and then there are also some options coming in some choices coming in for the divine masculines you know choices to make changes in their life and this can be choices to walk away from certain situations to make changes especially as they go through this time of rebirth there are choices and opportunities coming in for them to help them to make the changes in their life so that they can be able to move forward towards the life that they desire so there are choices coming in you know helping them so that they can make make the changes that they need to make especially as they go through this time of rebirth you know there are some choices coming in to help them to move forward into their new life as well and then the next card that came out is the decisions and you know this is showing you that they are also making decisions you know they're making decisions about where they want to go and how they want to 
get to where they truly want to be. So there are some decisions that are coming in as well for the divine masculines, you know, as they come up, as all these, as the choices come up for them, you know, there can be choices about decisions about how to get out of a situation, what take, what action to take to make the changes in their life, you know, about, about walking away from certain things. So there are decisions that are coming in with this Ace of Swords, decisions to help them to be able to move forward towards that life that they truly desire you know as they move into as they go through this time of rebirth and then the cards that came out from um from the from the sacred destiny oracle so the first card that came out is community and you know and you can see here there are some butterflies you know there's the rainbow which is all about protection which is all showing you that you know the divine masculines are protected on their journey and you can see there's like a you know all these butterflies that are flying and that's about transformation you know that rebirth as they go through their awakening they're transforming as well and they are sort of moving forward towards the light so this is like you know the collective of the divine masculine that community the collective the divine masculine co 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 collective um you know awakening transforming moving forward towards the light towards their divine feminine as well and they are protected as they go through this rebirth as they go through this transformation and they are moving towards you know as as a collective the divine masculines are all moving forward on their path you know towards as they go through this awakening so this is what is going on you know this is showing you what is happening with the divine masculine collective moving forward as they go through this time of rebirth and the next card that came out uh, came out is the power card and this is showing you that you know they have that power that they're being guided by the power from above you know they are being guided on their journey by the angels by the creator you know they they are part part of they are the divine masculine and you know as they go through this time of rebirth there is that power that is coming in you know in this card they are protected so there is that power that is coming in to help them on their journey you know the creator has got the divine masculines this is why we learn as divine feminines on this journey that there's nothing that you can do to try and make things happen because they have that bigger power that is guiding them on their own journey as they go through this time of transformation the whole divine masculine collective so you're being shown here that the power the creator has got the divine masculines guiding them on their journey so this is why the divine feminine you're being us to surrender to let go and trust the bigger power to lead them to you and you know to the life that they truly desire as well so they are being guided on their journey and the next card that came up is focus and you know you can see this the, like the leopards there and you know th they are focused you know they know where they want to go they may have some conflict and fears coming up but the focus is there you know they know the life that they truly desire they know they want to make changes in their life they know they're holding this cup of this love for you their divine feminine they may not be telling you exactly how they feel yet but they know they want to get to be with you so they are focused on the life that they truly desire so you know there is focus on the part of the divine masculines you know the collective as they go through this time of rebirth they are focused on the end result on the life that they are wanting to have you know just like that i think it's the leopard sort of focus going in that direction so there is that focus that is there for the divine masculines which is going to help them to get to where they're truly meant to be and towards you their divine feminine as well and the last card that came out is flow and you know this is showing you that and there's a full moon as well there actually which is powerful especially today you know with this power of the full moon which is all about release and that's what death of the old life is about it's about that release so they are sort of going through this time of releasing as well with the spell of this full moon and so that they can be more in flow you know they can release all the fears and be more in flow as they move towards 
that life, you know, we are all learning to be more in flow rather than trying to control things. And divine masculines have always wanted to be in control, you know, but they are learning now that it's about releasing that control and being more in flow. Everything is coming from the creator, that bigger power that is guiding them on their journey. And they are being shown that, you know, they need to release that need to control and really be more in flow as well on their journey. So they are moving forward on their journeys, basically what is going on with the divine masculines as they go through this time of rebirth, they are being guided and they're transforming and moving forward. And then the cards that came out from the almost tarot. So let's turn these round. There's a few and let's see what has come out here. So the first card that came out as well is the illusion card. So, you know, that again, that power of that full moon, and that is about that release. So this is really coming through from the, for the divine masculines, you know, to actually also see past the illusion of the 3D world. You know, they are starting to sort of understand that, you know, the 3D world is an illusion, especially as they go through this time of rebirth, you know, so they are sort of, what, you know, it's like the full moon is also coming up. To, as you can see, there's that light that is coming up for there to sort of lighten up things that they may not have seen for some time. You know, it is sort of lighting up the illusion for the divine masculine so that they can be able to release the things that uh, no longer serve them. So this full moon is highlighting, you know, with this light, it's sort of highlighting on parts of their life where they need to release certain things that are part of the illusion so that they can be able to release them, whether they're fears, whether they're certain emotions that they need to release whatever you know situations in their life you know this is being highlighted by this full moon to help them to release you know sort of those things so that they can be able to keep moving forward on their journey so that's what has come up here and then they're also growing up so, you know, we ask what is going on with the divine masculines. They are growing up as they go through this time of rebirth they are also growing growing up so you know they are sort of walking moving away from the life that they've always had and growing up you know really stepping more into becoming that divine masculine so they are growing up as well and they're also thinking of the memories so they are also thinking about the memories of the time that they've shared with you their divine feminine you know they may be looking at their phone looking at messages looking at photos of you they are thinking about the memories of the time that you shared or they can just be thinking about it in their mind you know it's the memories that are coming up so they're thinking about you you know they have that love for you as we had with the king of cups so they are coming up with this you know these memories are coming up for them about the love that they have for you and the good times that you've shared as well and then the next card wow that came up is release thank you angels so they are going through this time of release and that is is exactly what is going on with this power of this full moon you know they are going through a time of release so that they can feel lighter, like those hot air balloons, you know, hold the burdens, the things that all the things that are causing conflicts the things that they're holding on to the burdens that they, they have, you know, they are working on releasing these so that they can feel lighter as they move forward on their journey, going through the transformations. So this is for the divine masculine collective. And you can see there's quite a number of hot air balloons. This is showing the divine masculines all sort of moving up, you know, in a way becoming lighter in themselves releasing what needs to go and this is coming in with the power of this full moon that we are in right now a time of release to help them to move forward as well on their journey and then the next card that came out is healing there were a few cards that came out from this deck so they're going through a time of healing as well you know you can see that person there is sort of looking at themselves in the mirror so they are sort of looking at themselves in the mirror and really sort of trying to understand who they are learning more about who they truly are going through this time of healing as well you know going within into their emotions to heal their emotions to heal their past so they are going through this time of healing and that is about opening you know sort of taking off the mask in a way really looking at themselves in the mirror to see who they are beyond that mask 
you know, that they've always worn beyond the fears. So they are going through a time of healing. And that is all about releasing as well. You know, releasing the past as you heal. So there is a healing happening for the Divine Masculines as well. And then the next card that came out is progress. So the angels are showing you here the question that we ask, what is going on with the Divine Masculines? And, you know, they are making progress. You are being shown here that with everything, you know, they are, as a collective, the divine masculines are making progress. Your divine masculine is making progress, moving forward on their journey. So you're being shown here that they are making progress. You may not be able to see anything yet, but you are being shown that they are making progress. And they're also learning giving, you know, and the, and this is about, you know, learning to be in this place of being more balanced in themselves as well. That's about giving and receiving. This is about them learning to give and receive to themselves as well. You know, becoming more balanced in their own masculine and feminine energy, learning to give to themselves as well. And, and then learning that, you know, being in a relationship with you, their divine feminine as a divine masculine who's really stepped into their power, you know, and they are also learning that giving and receiving. So they are also learning giving as well here. And they're also gaining clarity you know as they go through this time of transformation you know there may be conflict happening but clarity is coming in as they move away from that old life that they they've always had they are gaining more clarity as they move more towards the life that they truly desire as they go through this time of healing you know this time of looking in the mirror and trying to understand things more you know, they are gaining more clarity as time goes by. You know, obviously these things take time, but they are also gaining clarity. And the next card that came up is don't give up. So this is showing you that the divine masculines are not giving up. Your divine masculine is not giving up on their journey. They know they want to be with you, their divine feminine. They hold that cup of that love for you, their divine feminine. And they have focused, you know, they have that focus of where they truly want to be. You know, they know they want to be with you. So they're not giving up. You know, whatever may be going on, how long it may be taking, you know, whatever may be happening in their life, they are not giving up. They are, they've got like that sort of armor on and they are continuing on, you know, so that they can be able to get to that life that they truly desire. And they are also getting emotional. You know, they are getting emotional because, you know, we had the card, we had the card about, you know, them healing and all these things that are sort of happening in their life. So, you know, they do get emotional when they have to face things that happened in the past. You know, when they miss you, their divine feminine, they do get emotional so you know they are they get they get emotional and you know right now we are in this energy as well of the uh, full moon in pisces which is a water sign and water is all about the emotions so they are also getting emotional as well and the next card that came out is action so this is showing you that they are taking action. You know, they are taking action and making changes in their life, you know, taking action in the choices that they need to make so that they can be able to move forward towards that life that they desire. So they are taking action as well, you know, as they go through this time of rebirth, walking away, making decisions as well, so that they can walk away from the life that they've Truly, they've always lived and be able to move forward towards the life that they truly desire. So there is action coming in for the Divine Masculines. And the next card that came out is vacation. So this may really be, they may be going away on, on vacation just to get away, you know, from the conflicts that may be happening around them. That can be happening for some. But then this can actually just be taking time to themselves. That's the message that I'm really getting. It's like a vacation from... You know, everything else going on in the world, just going within, taking time for themselves to really sort of go through this time of rebirth, this time of, you know, um, of healing by themselves, you know, taking that time to themselves. So, you know, that's what this message is about. It's about them sort of 
it's a, walking away from certain things and you know their everyday life to take the time to themselves to really get to know and understand what is going on so that they can really be able to move forward as well to heal as well you know they may not be in communication with you their divine feminine it's like they're taking a vacation from communicating with you in a way so that they can go through this time of that healing and transformation by themselves because this is something that they really need to go through and the lessons they need to go through by themselves. And then the next card that came out is creation and manifestation. So this is showing you as well, you know, we asked what uh, the divine masculine is going through. They're going through this time of learning to to create the life, you know, to, they are creating as well the life that they truly desire because they have dreams, you know, they have, they are focused on wanting to be with you, their divine feminine. So they are manifesting, they're manifesting the life that they truly desire as well. So they are thinking, taking time to themselves to really think about what they truly desire and giving those, those desires out to the universe, manifesting the life that they desire, that life with you their divine feminine so really really powerful and the last card that came out is reunion so this is showing you that the divine masculines are manifesting this reunion you know the fact that it came out is showing you this is what they're dreaming of they're dreaming of holding you their divine feminine in their arms like that you know that reunion with you because they have as we got from that card um that the king of cups because they have all that love for you they're holding that love for you their divine feminine and they are thinking about this reunion they are manifesting this reunion because this is what they truly want for their life they want to be able to be with you so that they can live that life that they truly desire so really really powerful you know, about what is going on with the divine masculines, they are going through this time of change, this time of, you know, of rebirth and transformation, releasing the things that need to go so that they can move forward towards the life that they are manifesting, the life that they're dreaming about towards that reunion with you, their divine feminine. So those are the cards that have come out to answer that question that really came through in, in the early hours for me today. What is going on with the divine masculines? I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.